Tips, taxes, tithes, and percentages. Mostly just going to be talking about tips though. A tithe is 10% of your earning to a church, organization, or government. Tithes are only used in reference to churches now. Government taxes are no longer called tithes since they charge varying percentages. Governments use the term tax or fee. Most restaurants and stores have to charge a tax on the total bill. Employees expect tips from customers in many service industry jobs. Tips are an additional expense added after the tax is calculated. Rates for tips and taxes vary by city, state, country, and industry. I used an article from moneyunder30.com as my source on how to tip in various countries. Always look at your bill to find out if a tip was already added to the bill. Sorry about that. In the UK and Europe, tipping is only suggested for great service at a rate of 10%. For less expensive restaurants, you should leave only a 5% tip for the wait staff. 5 euros per day is the suggested rate for housekeeping at hotels. Most Asian countries don't use tipping. It can even cause offense in some countries. The UAE and Qatar expect a tip between 15 to 20 percent. In other Middle East countries, you can tip 10 to 15 percent if it is not included already. You can tip an additional 5 to 10 percent if it is included. In Latin America, you can tip 10%, 15% for exceptional service. 15 to 20% types are the standard for the US and Canada for restaurants. For more details, look for moneyunder30.com, tipping in different countries. And I know it wasn't technically a grammar lesson, but I do think a lot of people want to travel and they're learning English for business and travel. So tipping is necessarily one of those things that you don't have overseas in some countries or you don't know the rules. And I would just like to remind everybody when you do go to visit a country, it is best to um, Google a lot of the cultural practices that they have because what you are expected to do varies from country to country and the employees won't tell you if you're not paying them and they believe that you should be especially when it comes to tips but also if you're not tipping them you're probably not going to get this service that you should expect since you're not giving them what they expect they won't do what you expect so it's just a good idea to find out what the different cultural practices are in each country before going there and i hope this has been a blessing or at least a help in some way i'm probably going to do um a little bit more videos on explaining how to deal with restaurants and shopping and just conversations like that and in that category since I do think a lot of it is for business and travel that people would like to learn English. If you have any suggestions as always please leave it in the comments below and thank you for your time and have a great day.